it's a good agreement. Uh, I think it sets some interesting standards. They could be pluralized uh, for further steps to improve the nonproliferation regime. Uh, but like everybody else, uh, it all depends upon whether Iran continues to comply. So far, uh, I think they have, as Jim has pointed out, and I think that's a, a, a good sign. Uh, but we obviously all are cautious about that. The, Iran's behavior, what it has been in the past, uh, being a difficult indicator of what I would call consistent full compliance. In terms of garden variety uh, non-proliferation, and that's an important field, as Tom Pickering said, uh, this agreement sets standards and will provide an incentive for other countries that are in that gray area uh, to uh, adapt to international standards, and that's all for the good. But in the terms of critical non-proliferation issues, uh, previously the Iraqs of the world, uh, up until recently and still in the future, Iran and North Korea, these are all one-off countries with one-off uh, motives for obtaining nuclear weapons or threatening to obtain nuclear weapons uh, that are related to their role in the world. I don't see this agreement necessarily having much of an impact on other countries. It will have an impact on Iran. We don't know exactly what, but that will be important.